everybody um, I'm making this um, video about um, how to protect yourself um, against direct energy weapons um, I'm doing an update of the, um, the the adaptive stun gun that I posted before on a previous video I just want to go into more detail um, about how to use it and what all the items that you need to to make the gun um, this I know pro probably a lot of people are sort of unwary of using the stun gun because it's, it's scary and believe me I was scared when I used it when I when I first used it I mean I was so desperate I zapped myself with that even without the magnetic cold wire um, and it hurts like hell I mean I would not recommend that it's, it's really painful but um, it, it has made a tremendous difference um, in disabling the you know, the RFID chips out of all the devices that I've used this is this has probably been the most effective um, I'm guessing um, Okay, so everything you need is, um, you need some magnetic cold wire. Um, I got this at Radio Shack for about, I think it was like eight, 10 bucks. And then here's the stun gun that I bought. My brand is um, called Saber S1007. It's a small little portable stun gun. And it's got um, little prongs that you can slide out like that so you can recharge it. Um, also need a piece of Velcro to attach the, um, the magnetic wire and the and the and the piece of board here. I just got to have a small little slat piece of wood. Um, it's just there to stabilize the um, the magnetic cold wire. Now, when you make the magnetic cold wire, I use the bottle like this to wrap it around to get the shape. Uh, you don't have to use this bottle. You can use whatever. Um, but just wrap some tape um, around the bottle um, with with a sticky side facing out, inside out. So that when you wrap the um, coil wire around it, it'll stick to the tape. And afterwards, you can wrap some more tape around it to um, seal it, so to speak, like this. Okay. And um, here, let me let me assemble it for you. I hope you guys can see this. I'm gonna have to set the phone down to do it. But okay. So what I do is, um, you can see there's. Here, let me show you. There's on one end of it. Um, oh yeah, when you wind it around the bottle, make sure you wind it about um, eight to ten times. I don't know um, how much of a difference it makes on how many windings you wind it around the bottle, but I would recommend like at least eight to ten times. I think I did it about ten times. Now you have two loose ends, and one end I did a little loop like that. Can you guys see that? A little loop on one end, and the other end is just open like that. Okay, and then let me see if I can rig this up so you guys can see this so I've got the piece of wood here slid underneath and I attach my stun gun like this and I take it and put the prong around I mean the, the coil wire or the loop around one prong like this and then the other prong um, I leave a short little spark gap um, against the other prong and let me attach the velcro first I mean you don't have to do it like this I'm sure there are better ways this is just the way I did it um, to um, make this device or attach the um, magnetic cold wire The uh, Velcro around it, and then attach it. So the wood, so the wood piece and the uh, magnetic cold wire stays in place. And then, and then you want to leave a short little spark gap. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the uh, phone. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys can see that. Okay, there's like about. An eighth of an inch. You want about eighth of an inch to quarter inch. You don't want any more than that because the bigger the spark gap, um, the bigger jolt it'll give you. I mean, not that it'll, it'll hurt you when you're using it. Um, here, I'll show you that you can touch the magnetic wire when you're using this. You can touch the magnetic wire to your skin, and it won't jolt you. Okay, but be careful not to touch the prong to the um, to your to your body because if you do that, here I'll show you. It'll help it if I turn it on, yes. Okay. See, I'm touching the 
I'm touching the magnetic cold wire and it's not hurting me at all. Okay, it's not jolting me, okay? Just don't touch the prong. If you touch the prong with your skin, it will jolt you, okay? Um, I've been zapping myself like this um, um, to disable the chips. And I even did it on my head. Um, if you guys are worried about, like, here, I'll show you. Um, to, to give you an idea, like, I hope you guys can see that. I'm zapping myself and it's not hurting me at all. I'm not just getting jolted. I'm not flopping around like a fish. Um, I'm even zapped my head. Um, because when I was a kid, I used to get, um, nosebleeds all the time, and, um, and I did some research and I found out they, they like to stick RFID chips up the nasal cavity also, so I've been zapping myself in the head, here I'll show you, I hope you guys can see this, I know. You can touch, you can touch the magnetic wire to your to your skin, and it won't do any, it won't jolt you at all. But it will disable the chips, okay? Because this is basically what this is: is an EMP generator, electromagnetic pulse generator, and that fries like all circuitry, okay? So I'm zapping myself with the sinus cavity just to make sure if I have any chips in there, um, it'll fry it. So like as you can see, I'm touching it to my head, and it's and, it, and nothing's happening. You know, I'm not being jolted because of the magnetic wire. Just be careful. Like I said, don't touch the prong to your skin, or you will get jolted. Um, since I've been doing this and uploading these videos and posting it everywhere I can, um, the attacks against me have increased um, like crazy. Like this weekend was pretty fucking insane for me. Um, I was playing my guitar again on the on the boardwalk in Venice, Venice Beach, and they just surrounded me with all these fucking zappers, and they were just zapping me mercilessly. But you know, like I said, since I've disabled chips, um, the effect is, you know, like before I disable the chips, I mean, like the pain and the mental um, um, insanity was like on a 10, you know, like on the verge of losing it. And then since I've disabled the chips, um, it's gone down to like one. They'll still try and zap me, but I can just barely feel it. But over this weekend, I mean, they 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 like bringing out a whole cavalcade, an army of I guess zappers, and they really zap me bad. I mean, they're zapping me right now as I make this video. Um, the pain threshold has increased a little bit. It's now on I don't know maybe a two or a three, but it's nothing compared to what it was before. It's nothing that I can't handle anymore, you know. Um, so. Um, be aware that if, if you do this and disable your chips, they might try and like increase um, the attack on you, but it'll never be as bad as um, bad as it was before before you enable disable the chips. Okay, so please, you guys, um, spread this video around as to to as many places and you know sites as you can. Let all the other TIs know about this device. Um, I found that this was probably the most effective device in the stable on the um, RFID chips. Um, I've, I've used this device like several different times, like because it, um, not only on my stomach, my, my, uh, my head, um, and other parts of my body. Um, I, I, um, out of all the devices, this is probably the most effective. Um, I've also used neodymium magnets for um, RFID chips directly under the skin. And that seems to work also. Um, you just have to tape it overnight. Um, you can also use all those, also the TENS unit to help you deal with the direct energy attack. Um, I mean, you guys probably saw that in the other video. Um, I highly recommend the TENS unit, okay? I'm using this right now. They're attacking me um, mercilessly, but um, you know, it's, I have this attached to the back of my neck. And I'll show you. I attached to the back of my neck like this, right across my spine. And the other one I put on my um, on my stomach area because they're constantly blasting my stomach and giving me nausea and making me go to the bathroom all day long. So um, when you use the tens unit, make sure you put it on like I, I use it on the maximum level. This has five different settings, um, and I use it on five. And you'll feel these pinprick like sensation. Anything any any um setting past the two, you'll feel like a pinprick sensation, and it'll start throbbing and stuff. But don't be afraid of those sensations. As this this device can't hurt you at all, okay?
it, it's what it's doing is, is um, restabilizing the frequency in your body to the proper frequency. Okay, when they're attacking you with the with the direct energy weapons, they're lowering your frequency, driving you crazy. Okay, giving you bad thoughts and making you suicidal. This will restabilize your frequency to the proper frequency that everything on this planet vibrates at. Okay, so please um, get yourself tension and this and, and make yourself this adaptive stun gun. Okay, and um, post these videos as many places you can and and spread the word to other TIs. Okay, I hope um, all you guys are doing okay and stay strong. Okay, don't let these fucking assholes, chicken shit cowards, get to you. Okay. We will prevail one day, guys. All right. Take care.